Shout out to D Green with this man. Hey. DDG's brother, Woo Wop's mom and dad have officially broken up. <laughs> Now, if you have already been watching Dub's videos and DDG's videos, you may have already seen all the signs. But here in this video, Woo Wop's mom officially confirms. And I've been talking to Deja on and off for the past, for the past 14 years, because this would have been the 15th year, but we ain't been in a relationship this year. So... Well, not 14 full years, because it was always like on and off, like we'd be together one year, not together one year, together one year. Like it was an on and off relationship, real toxic. But why exactly did Dub and his baby mama, Brittany, break up? In one of Brittany's latest videos, she hearted this comment. Dub lost weight and forgot where he came from. Britney glow up about to be out this world. Stay shining, queen. Basically saying that ever since Dub moved to Los Angeles, got all this fame, got all this money, fixed his teeth, he forgot that he's from Pontiac, Michigan. Now I'm not gonna even sit here and lie. I don't be seeing Britney and all their videos, but from the clips I be seeing, she don't be looking like a main character. You know what I'm saying? She just be looking like an NPC. Now shout out to Dub, Britney, and all of the whole DDG squad, but, but I'm just keeping it 100. Now, whether she wants to be behind the scenes or not, I don't know, but I ain't never see Dub kiss her, hug her, or anything. From the outside looking in, it looks like Dub just be treating her like a friend. But like I said, man, who knows? Go check out Britney's full video for her explanation. And look at another comment that Britney hearted, bro. The disrespect and no romance was cringe. Seeing him favor his homeboys over you was cringe. So glad you doing you now. Peace of mind equals happy days. Now I told you bro. Dub was basically treating her like an NPC. Like she wasn't even a playable character bro. Now, don't get mad at me, bro. I'm just telling you what it looks like from the outside looking in. And you want to know another thing that looks really bad, bro? Now, back in the day when DDG was posting like three vlogs a day, bro. Bro, the real ones know. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be tuning into DDG every day, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, most of the times he would have some girl, whether it be a girl he's just vlogging with or his actual girlfriend. This man was always doing romantic shit for his girl. And DDG done brought his brother onto the scene and this nigga Dub would never do anything romantic for his girl. So in comparison, that looks crazy, bro. Now, at the end of the day, Britney doesn't have to be on camera, but you can at least show her some love. At the end of the day, that's Woo Wop's mama. Now, she's basically saying Dub done forgot who he was. It makes you think, did Dub cheat? My man's done fixed his teeth, done a little bit of cardio, started drinking a little bit more water. I don't know, bro. There's been some signs out there that maybe Dub has cheated on her, bro. Don't shoot the messenger. The craziest thing I did, probably. Oh, shit. I think the craziest thing that I did was... Um, I remember one day, right? I had this girl in the basement, and I was trying to hold—I <laughs> was trying to hold the basement door. 
so Brittany couldn't get in. But I'm in the basement though. Oh no, I remember. And that. I'm holding it. <laughs> it was a knob door, so I'm holding it like this on the wall. stairs, like this, trying to. We was I was probably there for like two hours, bro, holding the door. I so it was a girl. Though. She was just on the bed, like I'm finna go. It was no way out. <laughs> like literally, there's no way for her to get on nothing. Shit was crazy. So I, what, how did it end? Wait, what happened? Bree tried to fight her or some shit. Forty minutes. Okay, swap, swap each other phone for thirty minutes. Thirty? <laughs> you that SpongeBob episode plus the commercials. Do it again. So All right, whisper in her ear. Head. Whisper in her ear what you want me, where you want her to do, and whisper in my ear. You might have a situation where another girl is calling you while you with a girl, right? Tell me how you get out of it. You gotta answer the phone. Tell me how you get out of it. Who is that? Oh, it's my mom. All right, I'm, I'm gonna call you back later. Uh, let me show you how to do it. Hello? Who's that? What's your name? Who's that? So you see how my, you see how I just did like, hold on. See how I just did this? You ain't even see my hand hit the mute button. So look, do it again, look. Oh shit. Hello? You got something? Hold on. Oh, this is my, uh, this is my mama. Hey, ma. My case. Boom. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out right now, I'll call you right back. So now I ain't got the ma, she's gonna think that's ma, but you put it on mute and before you before you hit unmute, you say ma again. You feel me? So now you ain't the a-hole. You just feel like why is you on this string? Get off this string. Dude, ain't no move. Get <laughs> Watch off out, the string. <laughs> Computer off. Watch out, baby. I'm not watching. Get come on, get off of this. Hey, my mama tripping. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mama. What the fuck is that? Thirty living. <laughs> my looks is crazy. Wait, so who was that? Who's who was that? Did just literally my TT. <laughs> that should be a childish. So it, it's Wait, just, you said it was your mom, right? Like this is this is too much in a relationship. Ain't even started yet. I'm Wait, already my, my sister. My my sister name is TT. They call my mama T T. <laughs> so this is disrespectful. So I said TT. Honestly, I just I I would rather end this before it. Even no, goes. listen, I promise you, they that's just being childish. Let me tell you what happened. Ty got such big of a name that he texted my sister and said, "I'll give you a shot out on Instagram if you go in that room." My mama, <laughs> why would you come in here and do that? Mama D D G, you need to get off. Exactly. So that's the same voice, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on, man. Love you, mom. Hmm. Mm. Thank you. Not your mama. Why do you keep saying it? <gasps> Why would you lie and call your mama? I can't believe you literally just lied. You lost. Get off. <laughs> You're not even single. What Damn, you really not single. So what do you have to say? Why are you squinting like that? You know exactly what that is. Never seen it. You know exactly what that say. Come to Miami. Oh, what's in Miami? A good time. Can you pick up my drop for me, please? Where is you going? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey! Hey, bro! I wasn't part of this shit! Oh my god, bro! She run hella fast! And she continues to heart more comments. I don't care. Doug let the money get to his head. Do you think just cause he has money, girls will F with him? I can only speak from the outside because I don't know them personally. Dub might have fucked up, bro. 
And here's why, bruh. Dub's girls, Brittany, has been holding him down ever since Pontiac, Michigan, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Dub will probably never find anyone like his baby mama, bro. Because any girl he finds from now on will probably only like him because his money. He had a girl that liked him truly for him. And on top of that, they have a woo-wop. All before Dub had any fame. And like the comments say, bro, you can keep getting as many hair transplants as you want. You can lose as much weight as you want. You can buy as much veneers as you want. But I don't think anyone can truly hold you down as much as your baby mama from Pontiac can. Now, shout out to Dub, DDG, and all y'all, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Dub is funny as shit. Hall of Fame plate cleaner, but Dub is a funny ass nigga, bro. And maybe y'all are just going through tough times, but I don't think you'll find anyone else like your baby mama, bro.